at the 27th annual Meet the Artists Gala held at Central Library. Local poet and activist Mari Evans was honored for her literary gifts and her service to the community. On behalf of the African American History Committee of the Indianapolis Public Library, I share with you Woman Warrior Mari. There's always newness needed in the world, you see. A newness needed in the world. Our souls yearn for new ways of looking at life and learning from life and living and giving it meaning. Yes, there's always newness needed in the world, you see. Newness needed in the world. And often few who make us think and drink from creativity anew. Then there are those wizards of the written word, speakers of the spoken word, always on the battlefield for a better world, a newness of the world. Today, we pay tribute to woman warrior Mari, her weapons, pen, and voice. The voice sometimes soft, sometimes firm, always, always filled with a new way to have her say. Woman warrior Mari, who fought for right wherever wrong, grew like weeds among the world's flowers, like weeds among the world's flowers. This woman warrior, who serves up creativity with her soul wrapped around it, sharing wisdom with world, a world needing to know more, read more, See more, laugh more, and be more in sync with sanity, in sync with sanity. Woman warrior Maury, whose pen has been around the world, a pen poised for capturing a new thought wrought from brilliant mind, a mind that makes music, pens poetry, dreams drama on stages, and wages war, war against ignorance and empty-mindedness, empty-mindedness. We celebrate woman warrior Mari and the spirit of her pen, touching every part of everything she has ever known. Her wisdom trickling down on paper to ever be taught and read and recited and reiterated and relished and remembered forever, forever. An amazing woman who uses poetry to praise heroes, commentary to claim justice for victims without voice. Woman warrior Mari, her face upon a nation's postage stamp. Today, we pay tribute as deserved, for she is black woman, tall as a cypress, strong beyond all definition, still defying place and time and circumstance assailed, impervious, indestructible person. You, we look upon you, Mari Evans, and are renewed. She is a very, very special uh, person. I've known her for many, many years. But when she called and asked me to represent her tonight, that, that took my breath away because she is so very, very uh, special. She's like a hidden jewel that lives right here in the city. And people don't even know that, you know, that she's here. And I think that's kind of how she wants it. She wants to live quietly. But it's still, even her silence is powerful. It really is. And when you go into her home, uh, I was there this evening to see her. And you just feel it just has such an invitational atmosphere, mainly because it's Mari's home. And she wants you to feel very welcome. She is surrounded by her African culture, even in her house. She was saying that when chaos comes to a place, the first thing one should do is protect the children first, and next you must secure the libraries, because that's where the knowledge, that's where 
the vision. That's where all of this is. The rev she even said the revolution is in many of the books that are in the library.